The Harry M. Cornell Arts and Entertainment Complex is opening its doors to the public this Saturday. That's tomorrow, and KOAM's Yana Tula learned more about the new complex. She joins us live from the venue this morning. Thank you, Tanya. Good morning. We're live here in Joplin in the new complex. I'm here with Emily Frankowski from Connect to Culture. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Yes, thank you. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm good. I'm a little tired, but I'm ready. I'm excited for this complex to open to the public. So very soon, this Saturday. Oh, yes. Very soon, tomorrow. Um, how much work did this take to complete this whole complex? This vision has been in the works since around 2007, 2009. So over a decade of hard work for many dedicated individuals in the community, um, both Connect Culture, Spiva Center for the Arts, the Cornell Complex Board, all of the 300 plus um, donors that helped make this center uh, alive. Um, so a lot of hard work. Oh yes, what is like the best thing for you about this complex? Is there something that you really love, some part of this? Well, for me, I love that it's an intentional spot in Joplin for the arts to grow and thrive, but specifically to connect to culture, um, we're in our home theater. We would never have had our own space before. This is the Beachwood Performance Hall. Um, seats 435, so we'll have our shows here. We'll grow our season from usually four to six a season to over 16. Um, so that's a lot of growth in a very short time. We also have the Leggett and Platt Green outside, which is an outdoor amphitheater, which will seat about 1,500. So we are going to have so many different shows for all different sorts of people here. And be, having our own, own spot will just help us bring more and more to the area. Yes, and then if people want to come uh, join the performances, when are they going to be able to purchase tickets if they are wanting to look at that? Well, they could come down on Saturday noon to five and buy their season tickets. Season tickets to the public go on sale this Saturday in tandem with the opening of the complex. And then single tickets don't start until December 1st. So season tickets are the best. So, so you get like the first chance to pick your seats and you get 20% off. So it's a really good deal. Oh yes, for sure. Uh, what all is going to happen tomorrow when you open this for public? Yes, yeah, so noon to 5 p.m., we have all sorts of things. We have giant puppets outside from Stone Lion Puppet Theater in Kansas City. We've got Mercy sponsoring a t-shirt, free t-shirt giveaway, which has a really cool original artwork, artwork from a local artist. Um, we'll also have entertainment where we are right now all throughout the day with different local groups like Midwest Regional Ballet or the Joplin Piano Teachers Association. So just tons of activity. Come and just self-guide yourself. We have these really cool booklets where you can just explore the complex and learn more about it. Oh yes, are you gonna be here tomorrow as well? Oh yes, I'll be here all day, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yes, and again, uh, the complex will open tomorrow at noon with a ballet performance. Is it gonna happen here, right yep, here? Right here, Midwest Regional Ballet will perform and then we'll have remarks and a ribbon cutting. Yes, ribbon cutting will be 1220. Mm -hmm. Yes, and everyone is welcome. Thank you for the interview. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes. Live in Joplin, I'm Yana Hautala with KOAM News. It sounds like tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day. Thank you so much, Yana. We will be right back.